everyone, I want to do a quick review on my favorite standalone Stephen King novel, Duma Key. This book is about a construction module that has an accident. He loses his arm, and consequently his life falls apart. He loses his wife, his kids, his life is ultimately in shambles, and he decides he wants to go to a fictional Floridian Key of Duma, and just live there on the key and paint. He has kind of an, a strange obsession with wanting to start painting. And he does go there and he paints. And while he's on this island, some strange and unusual things are happening uh, at parts of the island. And some strange and unusual things happen with the paintings, ultimately. And... I love it. It's a really good novel. There's some good characters in this one. Wireman is one of our protagonists. He's totally awesome. He befriends um, Edgar, I think. Wireman is probably most readers' favorite character in this book. Elizabeth Eastlake, the old woman in this novel. Some really strange and crazy stuff. And I liked the antagonist in this one. I didn't know what to expect going into this book. It's one of the least read Stephen King novels, Duma Key. A lot of people haven't even heard of this one, but I loved it. It's a lengthy novel. You know, friendship is a big theme in this one. I liked the characters. I liked the friendships involved. You know, it's, it's a really good book when you feel like you know the characters involved, like you befriend them yourself. And I felt that way in this one. I thought the characters were really great. Uh, Stephen King's Duma Key. It's a pretty lengthy one. It's almost 600 pages in this hardback form. The paperback's probably pretty thick. Stephen King's Duma Key. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it four stars out of five. You know, it wasn't the most mind-blowing thing that I ever read that I have to give it five stars, but it was a really good book all the way through with such a long novel. Not at any time did I feel like it was dragging at all. I was totally into it. I was submerged in the plot the entire time. I was satisfied with the ending and the antagonist. I just thought it was overall a really good book, and I don't understand why this one doesn't get more recognition. Yeah. When people ask me to recommend a Stephen King novel. I usually recommend Duma Key. You know, a lot of people go with The Stand or It, or they'll recommend the Gun Gunslinger or Dark Tower series. Uh, but I recommend this one. If you've not read Stephen King, I recommend you start here with this one. You know, no Dark Tower connections or anything in this book. It's a standalone novel. And if you are a Stephen King reader already and you've not read this one, I strongly recommend this book. Most of the people that read this one really like it.